Shalom, shalom. I'm not condemned anymore now that I'm in the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessings to you all. I pray in the name of Jesus that you have this revelation, the understanding of where you were, where you stand today, and how much He has loved you. And you live a life that is divinely ordained for you before you were born he knew that you were supposed to have this abundant life and it is only revealed in the son of god jesus christ it is possible to live and walk in there and this is the blessing it's a blessing you know we don't need to wait we don't need to wait in the, in the future that we don't even understand. We have to realize that he's talking about today. The experience of life is now and peace is now. Do you want to walk in peace now or you want to walk in peace in some time, some time, somewhere in the future that you don't even know? The experience of peace is supposed to be now. The experience of life is supposed to be now. Because Christ is now, God is now, salvation is now. In this book of Romans chapter 8 verse 6, it says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to the spiritual, to be, to be spiritual minded is life and peace. I, I majored on, on being carnally minded. I explained what it means to be carnally minded and the results thereof, the implication of being carnally minded. See, when you are thinking and you have this pattern that are always negative in your mind, such as insecurities, emptiness, you're always searching for happiness. This is a terrible situation. Again, I want to remind you that when someone is experiencing this, it's, it's now. The happiness that people are looking for, the insecurities and the emptiness, it's now. It's not going to happen in the future, which means if... The salvation then is supposed to be now. Glory to God. So, but there is this pattern. The issue is that it continues over and over again to, to flow in one's mind. And you cannot stop it. And that's a pattern. So it destroys you slowly. It has not produce life it produce death that is what we are reading in this verse and that's not your life that's not what you want that's not even your desire if you think it is your desire what you want that is blindness and ignorance the spiritual thought patterns leads to ex experience of life and peace of prosperity, a quality of life characterized by the blessings of God. Who doesn't want that? Imagine to be spiritually carnally minded is death. But now here we're talking about to be spiritually minded, glory to God. There's a way the world has portrayed, you know, life to us. And at times even believers are intimidated by the way the world portrays life. We think they have something to teach us, but they don't. There is eternal life which has been brought forth to light by the appearance of Jesus Christ. And we should understand that and learn to walk in it. He says to be spiritually minded. To be spiritually minded. 
First and foremost, we should acknowledge that it's there. So the, this, the spiritual thought patterns leads to experience of life and the peace of prosperity. Peace of prosperity. You know, peace of prosperity is shalom. So they used to say shalom, shalom, and that means peace full of prosperity. You see, this peace is not just peace. It produces prosperity in itself. From that peace, you have a lot of divine experiences. So to be, to be spiritually minded is a blessing. To be spiritually minded is a blessing. Glory to God. No one should intimidate you or no one should lie to you that it is impossible because that is why the Son of God had to come. And when he came, he says, I have come that they may have life and life to the fullest. If he has come so that we may have life and life to the fullest, what do you think? Is it a lie or it is a reality? So he says if we learn to walk, he says to be spiritually minded, this is what is produced. He talks about peace and life. A life that is life. Glory to God. Life that is life. Life that is life. And this life is characterized, of course, by the blessings of God. Do you know there's such a thing as the blessings of God? Oh, Jesus, the blessings of God, the blessings. Of, you know, some people hear the blessings of God and they, are, and they are scared or they even doubt the blessings of God. You know, when God calls you the blessed one, you know what that means? The blessings of God. Glory to God. This pattern or the spirit to be spiritually minded, only the blessings of God flows. They flow glory. And this is the call. You see, this is the call. We are called to live and have this kind of experience. When the spirit takes hold of a man's affections, the things which are according to the will of God becomes active and desirable to him. And the things contrary to God become odious to him. So you see, it's easy to test yourself. What thoughts produce our greatest pleasure? What is that that produces our greatest pleasures? Where do we find our greatest satisfaction? In the answer to these questions, we find the grand and glorious contrast between those who mind the things of the flesh and those who mind the things of the spirit. When you are mind full of the when you mind the things of the spirit, you find pleasure in that. You find pleasure in that. You feel that this is what you want to focus on because it's producing life. Is producing life and peace and peace of prosperity. You have to understand that being carnally minded does not just tend towards death. It is death that comprises all the miseries arising from sin, both here and, and hereafter. Sickness, depression, you know, all those things are kind of to be carnally minded, it's produced by that. The depression, loneliness, hatred, poverty, fear, and everything else that come as a result of sin will be included in the term death. Death is not what Christ brought. Christ brought life, and that's the contrary. Glory to God. 
And that means there's no fear, there's no poverty, there's no hatred, there's no loneliness, there's no depression, there's no sin, there's no sickness. You see, imagine that kind of life he's talking about has nothing of this kind. He talks about to be spiritually minded. You are free from all that. Glory to God. In the same manner, you see, he's saying the spirit, to be spiritually minded, minded does not just lead to life. It is life and peace. Do you know that? Do you see that he's saying that for to be carnally minded is, is death. Is death. Does not, it does not just lead. Is death. And he says to be spiritually minded is life. Now, the moment you are spiritually minded, life is produced. Life is activated. The moment you walk... Now, again, remember, to be spiritually minded is not something that will happen. To be spiritually minded is what happens and what is happening now and that is to say you are either spiritually minded or carnally minded. It's something that is happening now. So if you are to be spiritually minded, it is now. And guess what? He says if you're spiritually minded, equals to life and peace. So that means life and peace is now because you are spiritually minded now. The fulfillment, the joy of life, the satisfaction, life with no condemnation, life full of worship and praises, life full of hope, life full of joy, life full of love. That's the life that is described as a result of being spiritually minded. When you are spiritually minded, you have discovered life that is life. Glory to God. Glory to God forevermore. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus. This is what you want. This is what you need. This is what we all need. This is what we all want. It is to have a mind dominated by the Spirit. It is also having the real life and every blessing. You see? Life that is dominated by the Spirit is life, is that life that is dominated by his blessings. There is no separation between being spiritually minded and walking in the blessings. It shows you that if you switch in your mind and you are focused on the things of the spirit, that means everything that Christ has done and accomplished, and that itself activates and you experience the blessings. Glory to God. It's actually your thinking. It involves your thinking. Where are you inclined to? And you find that the attitude you have is prompted by the Spirit. And you are full of life and peace. This is real. This is now. This is real and is real now. Brothers and sisters, how beautiful it is to be spiritually minded. Glory to God. Shalom, shalom. I want you to remember to subscribe on Church of Life Randa to receive more of these teachings. You receive the message of the gospel and reveal to you a lot about you, about God, 
about Christ and you walk in a fulfilled life, you are a blessing. Shalom. 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 Shalom.